Hello everybody, it's happened, we've done it, the channel has reached a thousand subscribers, all thanks to you lovely, wonderful people, and uh, to celebrate I set you a series of challenges. Basically for my first year anniversary video I did some recreations of my favourite moments from my first year as a YouTuber, and now I've challenged you to, well, re-recreate those moments, uh, three of them more specifically and uh, just to see what you could come up with. We'll be doing this as a video and then later on tonight, later on the same night this, um, the same day this comes out, we'll be uh, continuing the action into one of our regular live streams. But first up, the first challenge was the runway speed challenge. Uh, the idea is quite simple. You get a vehicle, you place it at one end of the runway, you get it going, you see how fast you can get it going and the, then get it back down to zero before you run out of runway. And with my own vehicle, I managed to get 342 meters per second in a run where I managed to stop in time. And well, essentially for this one, I'm challenging you to beat, uh, challenging you to beat that one. Um, this is the first of our competitors. This is the Greyhound by Randa Ped. Uh, it's based off of the uh, the Bloodhound, the British Land Speed uh, record vehicle, which. Um, uh, is that the one that's already gone, or is that the one that's going to be going soon? Um, assuming they get the cash together. I can't remember. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. Um, but yes, let's see how this one does. The instructions I received were basically to turn uh, stability assist on, done. Um, throttle all the way up, done. Let's release the brakes. Wait for the um, air brakes to get all the way in. And then it's just a case of staging it, apparently. So let's see how, uh, let's see how this one goes. Okay, that's... Quite a lick of speed there, and I've got to be quick here. Eek, will it stop in time? Oh, not quite. Okay, obviously, yeah, obviously, I need a bit of practice with this. Let's um, let's try that again. Okay, so that first run almost successful. Uh, we got up to 415 meters per second. I just checked afterwards, which does beat the hell out of my own craft's time. Um, but let's see if we can actually do that and stop before the end of the runway. I think what I did wrong last time was I didn't put the brakes back on. So we'll um, we'll try it again, but we'll, we'll try doing this properly. So brakes off to start with, and then once again all we need to do is stage it. Stage again, brakes on. Oh, this is going to be close, this is going to be close. Oh! I must be doing something wrong here. Hmm. Okay, so I think I've got this cracked. I just need to be a little quicker off the mark. Okay, let's turn the brakes off. Get going. Okay, I think I got it. Come on, there we go. Okay, good stuff. So we have a score on the board. Highest speed achieved 440, 450. Why is that different? We'll take the 415 meters per second. Very nice vehicle round a ped. Sorry I sorry I fluffed the first couple of runs. I think I might have to actually practice with the craft first. That that might be an idea. Um Let's uh, let's see what we've got next. What's next is the second of our three challenges, the joust or um, or broadside challenge. The idea is quite simple. You set uh, two craft a distance apart and offset from each other, uh, both of them with weapons pointing off to one side. You get them going and then if I set it up right, then just as they take off, they get within range and within sight of each other and they open up with their weapons and Glorious destruction ensues. To start off with, we have another submission by Randa Ped. This is the AC-47. Uh, three Vulcan, three Vulcan miniguns as opposed to the two I originally did this with. Uh, did this with on my AC-130. So um, let's get this going and see what happens. Um, by the time I had to record this video, I did only have one submission for the uh, for the runway speed challenge. Um, I think the next, this this challenge and the next one are a bit more shooty and explodey, and I think those are more popular with my subscribers. You know, who'd have thought it? But uh, I did see some of the creations that were going on on um, the Discord, and some of them look quite monstrous. Anyway, here we go. 
A quick burst there. The wings hide the guns, and then they open up on each other. Oh! And for a second, it looked like Valentina was going to get away with that. But no. Jebediah and Bill fly off victorious. And they're AC-47 spooky. That's the gist of things. And I, as I said, I've received quite a few of these. So um, let's go take a look at another one. Now, one of the things I was hoping for with this challenge was a, an over-the-top craft. Something really ridiculous. And size-wise, at least, this is kind of getting there. This is the AN-124 by Door S. And, yeah, it's it's a big boy. It uses uh, two of these fairings just on the, on the fuselage to help it attain that size. And it's pretty heavily armed as well. It has a howitzer. It has two of these uh, M230 chain guns. And it has... Uh, four Vulcan cannons, um, all linked together in the one weapon group, so they all fire at once, which is, um, well, frightening. I have had to make some adjustments to this craft. It did not take off well from grass. Basically, it was pretty reliant on the bumps to sort of give it a bump up, and then it could get some purchase aerodynamically and take off. Uh, so one of the things I've had to do is actually move this landing gear <laughs> much further forward and give these uh, these control surfaces a little more authority, but I think we're all right now. So, um, yeah, let's see if we can get some more destruction going. We should all be set up nicely, so, yeah, let's just turn everything on. Each of these craft powered by four whiplash engines. Um, yeah, this craft and the one uh, before it kind of suffer from a similar problem in that, uh, from some angles, the wing blocks some shots. If you've got all the weapons linked together, they will, will all try and fire, but any of them that don't have line of sight um, just won't fire. Here we go then. There goes some of the weaponry. Oh, that's looking like Valentina Kerman has not come off well on this one. Keeps trying to pour gunfire into the other craft. But it is not, it is not Valentina's day. Gets off a little bit more of the M230 chain gunfire. Tries to get a bit of revenge damage. But oh, oh, Valentina. Yeah. Never mind, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can uh, get you some revenge in a bit. So the third and final challenge I set you glorious people was related to a segment in that uh, first anniversary video where I flew around the KSC with my A-10 using its uh, GAW-8 to just blow up all the buildings, which, which was a lot of fun. Um, and I challenged you to create a craft which made the whole process even more fun than that. Um, now, we did run into a bit of a problem here because back in uh, version 1.8, they made, the, they made the, uh, the KSC buildings a lot harder to destroy. They introduced, um, uh, what was it, a damage per frame threshold, and uh, I think they just made the buildings tougher in generally. And when I tried to, uh, tried to test this out, yeah, that was... Um, yeah, the problem quickly became apparent. This whole video has been beset by some massive problems, technical and otherwise. <laughs> if this comes out at four o'clock, my usual time, this it would be a bloody miracle. But um, anyway, I have found a way around this. I have set up some targets over at the uh, in and around the KSC, which we are going to try shooting up instead. Uh, anyway, our first vehicle we are going to try this with is a submission by Adrana. This is the Bang 96A, and this comes to me with... Um, Mostly air-to-air -air weaponry with regard to missiles, but it does have this GAW-8 cannon, which is uh, just the ticket. So we're going to uh, go and take this vehicle and see what it can do. So uh, let's go and uh, let's go and get ourselves lined up for an attack run. Okay, so we should be nicely lined up here. Let's see if we can target one of these. Well, targets. I've got these uh, flaps down, just trying to uh, keep myself. Uh, keep the speed low, but I think I could possibly do without that because it's trying to get the things to turn. I'm trying to get the aircraft to pitch down a bit too much. Oh, come on, you little sod. Nearly there. There we go. Oh, that's a daisy. Okay, coming in for another one. There's a target just in front of the uh, space plane hangar. Which I'm going to try and nail. <sighs> for a second there, I lost the Gow 8 cannon. I was just thinking, oh, not a, not more of this. 
come on. Oh, there we go, nearly. Good stuff. Uh, now, although this has been sent to me sort of with uh, air to air uh, weaponry attached, it does have that sort of um, kind of a heavy fighter, fighter bomber kind of feel to it. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty good craft for the uh, pretty good craft for the challenge, as I said. Apart from the fact it is, it does have uh, air to air weaponry on it. But you know, I'll, I'll take it as I uh, take it, take them as I get them, and uh, of course. Gunning the uh, gunning the uh, KRC was the main point of this challenge, so um, I'm not going to complain too hard. Lost the galley again. There we go. Why are you being weird? Oh come on! Just this this little target there, just inside the science, the R&D center. Got it. Okay, so this craft, it's beautiful, I do like it, um, and it handles a lot better than my A-10, but uh, let's see what else we've been sent. So next to make its attack run is yet another vehicle by Randa Ped. This is the Duck, just quite simply just the Duck. It's another propeller craft, and it's got this, it's just built around this howitzer. It also has this sort of self-made cockpit with, <laughs> with Jebediah sat in there, one of the uh, external command seats, which I think is very cute. Um, Anyway, yes, we need to sort of go and blow something up. Let's uh, let's power down the engines because lining this up is going to be a bit of a bugger. I do I have put a target on top of the VAB, which I do want to try and get at some point. But we uh, we just need to line this up carefully. I think I could almost take a shot from here. Oh, not quite. Come on, you bugger. But I try my luck from a distance. A little more to the. There we go. I think I've got another one in me. Not quite. Oh, oh no! I forgot to put power on. Oh no! Kamikaze attack anyone? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, and I should probably power down the engines, otherwise this thing's going to spin itself into oblivion. Which will probably be quite fun to watch. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's going to continue to go nuts. Um, let's, um... I'm not sure if Jebediah's going to walk away from this. Come on. Oh, nearly. Nearly. Okay, I think we're just going to have to leave this here. Let's, um, let's see what else we've got. Next up, and what's probably going to have to be the final craft for this video, uh, don't worry, many more coming in the live stream later, is the, uh, the A1 Echo by SF1 Raptor. And this, this is, this is more what I'm talking about. Fully equipped for ground attack. Uh, I'm not going to be worrying about the missiles and the bombs so much as these two twin Gawai cannons and possibly the rocket pods on the side, we'll have to see. But yeah, this, I do like the look of this craft. I say that a lot, but yeah, this, this is nice. Uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can get an attack run going with these twin Gawai. I really want to go for those, um, that target I've put on top of the, uh, on top of the VAB. Just gently does it. Oh, not quite. I think I just went a little. Oh, no! I think we managed to hit it. See what more we can uh, lay down a bit more damage. Beautiful. Am I going to be able to get another one in? Ah, no. But we've uh, we've toasted that one quite nicely. Yeah, this is uh, this is more up to the job, and it's quite manoeuvrable as well. This is like a proper, a proper ground attack, properly manoeuvrable ground attack craft. Sorry, I'll just <laughs> think about what you're trying to say, then say it, Smith. Hey, 
Uh, and I once again, I forgot to put power on. That's... <laughs> You just take power off because you don't want to speed up too much as you're coming in for an attack run and then, oh, here comes the ground, let's pull up. Oh, that's not doing anything. Why is that? Oh, I remember now. Let's, uh, let's give these rocket pods a go. I think, so far this is winning. I think, I think I have to give something to, uh, to, to Randa Ped's Dark, because that was, <laughs> that was just cute as hell. Let's see what we can do with the, uh, with the rocket pods. Right. Oh, oh, you're being a you're being a squirrely little beast. Ah. Right. I'm gonna go away and try and line up an attack run properly, and I'll I'll see you again in a second. Okay. So this should be more the ticket. Let's see what we can do here. Carefully does it. Carefully does it. Come on. Beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. I think I just need the one. <laughs> oh, fantastic stuff. Anyway, I think we're I think we're gonna have to stop it there. I think the video's probably gone on for long enough. And I think I've suffered about enough technical problems. Um yeah, so that will be all for now. Uh, if you're watching this sort of on the day, it, uh, just as it comes out, there will be a live stream later tonight where we'll be looking at uh, possibly a little more of these craft, and um, and my inbox has already been <laughs> been filling up with plenty more. So uh, yeah, join me for that. Uh, yes, once again, thank you for the thousand subscribers. It has been absolutely unbelievable. Uh, yeah, so now we can start to really move the channel forward. Just thank you so much, everybody, for this. It is it is a dream come true. It is absolutely unbelievable. I will be back soon with some more, um, well, death and destruction. Uh, if you've liked today's video, please consider liking, subscribing, follow me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, uh, that kind of thing. Yes, see you for the live stream, or if not, um, I'll see you soon. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time.